Okay, so here they ask us to find the equation of a line with no slope passing through the point 3, 4. So I want to talk about this uh, intuitively and show you some other types of examples that are related here. So we know we have a point. So we can do a rough sketch here because that will get the idea across. It is at 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, and then up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's about here. Let's call that point A. Okay, so I think you might realize that the slope here has to be either a vertical or horizontal slope. So this slope right here, of this vertical line, or this line right here. So I want to talk about those two, how to identify what their slopes are instead of memorizing them. Let me just fix that one line there. So this line we'll call, I don't know, 1. And this line right here we'll call line 2. So one of these has a slope of 0, and one of them has an undefined slope, or, as I said here, no slope. So no slope is another way of saying it's an undefined slope. In other words, we don't know what to call it. Now how do you find that? And, and how do you define which one has a slope of 0, and which they're not even asking for, but we want to contrast this anyway. And how do we find out if, it, if the line has no slope? Well, we use the slope formula, right? The slope formula says delta y over delta x. And all that means is pick two points on a line and subtract the y values over the x values. Now, if you look at this equation, right, and we say that the top number, if this top number is 0, then the whole fraction is equal to 0, because 0 divided by a number is 0. If the bottom number is 0, then it's undefined, right? Because you can't divide by 0. This line in the middle means divide. So a 0 in the numerator here, the y values will give you a 0 slope. And a difference of 0 on the x values will give you an undefined or no slope. And if we're not making connections yet, let's just pick another point in these lines and see what's happening. I'll pick this point down here on line 2. It's going to be point 3, 0. Now notice this x value of 3 does equal this x value here of point A. So if I find the slope of line 2, right, I'm going to subtract 4 minus 0, the delta y, over 3 minus 3. And that's actually an interesting choice that I chose because we get 0 over 0. But even though 0 over 0 has a whole bunch of interesting things to talk about, notice that we're dividing by 0. That means that this fraction is undefined. And the vertical slope, number 2 here, the second line is the undefined slash no slope. Now, of course, this means the other line has to have a slope of 0. But no need to memorize. Let's just pick another point to figure this out. So if I pick a random point, let's say it's all up here like 8 for the x value, left and right value. But notice it still has to be on the same y value of 4 because they're on the same height. And if we find the slope of line 1, we're going to find something different. Here we get 4 minus 4, right, our difference of our y values over 8 minus 3. And that's 0 over 5. So in this case, the slope is 0 just by looking at it because the y values are the same, and that's what we subtract up here. Here with the vertical line, the x values are equal, so when we subtract those, we get a 0 in our denominator, and we divide by 0, which we cannot do. So we want to find the equation of this line. We know it has to be a vertical line. And notice the vertical line here goes up and down, but it always stays at the same x value. Here it's 3, 0. Up here it's 3, 4. Down here it could be 3 something else. So every point, this is an infinite number of points going on forever in each direction, all the y values will be different. Here the height is 0, here it's 4. We can have anything we want, but it's always right the same x value. So we say, right, and always you'll see for the undefined no slope, that x equals something. In this case, x equals 3. Right, That's our equation of this line because it's at it, it's a line of all the points with an x value of 3. That's what this is saying. The opposite is true here. With a zero slope, you get a y equals and then the height, right? Because here, all of these points on this red line 
right, have different x values, but they all have the same y value. They all have the same height. So with a slope of 0, you might see something like y equals 4. But here I would say that the equation of this line is x equals 3. All right, hope that helps.